As you work through the various courses we have here at the Body Mind Institute on nutrition, you'll realise just how complex and how wonderful the, the topic is and how, how many different facets of it there are to help us to live more in tune with what we need in our bodies, what we take in. I approach nutrition from a, a somewhat different point of view. I'm Dr Keith Beasley, I'm Faculty Director here at the Body Mind Institute and I teach Reiki Healing, Essence of Knowing and various other accelerated learning lectures. So I see nutrition as another facet of energy, how what we take in from our food and our drink is all to do with enabling and being part of our, our whole body energy system. How does that help? Well, it actually helps in many ways, but sometimes because there are so many factors, so many features in what we eat, our own body's needs, that our rational mind can sometimes get confused. From one person we may hear this, from another person we'll hear that. And the reality is that well, we're all different, aren't we? But we've all been brought up with different conditioning, we've all got different bodies which are sensitive to different things, and depending on what we're going through in our life, our bodies have different needs. So we all know the, the classic idea of a pregnant woman will crave pickled onions, for example. And that is her body telling her she needs something which can be found in pickled onions. But the same idea that our body knows what we need applies right across nutrition, right across our whole lives. So the question then arises, if our bodies know what we need over and above any rational argument, then how do we tune into that? How do we get to access our body's knowing? How do we get to find out what our real core self, our inner being, our body and all its own natural processes, natural intelligence, how do we get to tune into that? To know at that deeper level what's, what's right for me to eat or drink now or what do we need to avoid at this particular time? There are many answers to that question. Any form of mindfulness practice or meditation will help us to rise above what our nagging minds, what our rational thoughts might be telling us. And that's the essence really. We need some way of cutting through the mental clutter and the chattering. But if you did that, well what about this? <sighs> Let's let go of all of that. One of the now well accepted approaches to rising above that nagging mind rational thoughts is Reiki, Reiki healing. And I've been teaching Reiki healing now since the mid-1990s and time and again I'll hear people say it just helps them <sighs> to relax, to calm down. The more we can relax, the more we begin to tune in to what our bodies are telling us. It helps us to work out whether if we're feeling uncomfortable is that a physical thing or is it an emotional thing? So for example, if you've been to a job interview and you are waiting to hear the results and your stomach is churning, well, <laughs> that's probably very little to do with what you've been eating. It's to do with nervous energy. If we're afraid, our stomach will tell us that. Taking up something like Reiki helps us to just calm down, to relax. It also helps us to, to be more reflective, to, to take a step back and say, hang on a minute, I've got this craving for cheese or whatever. And is that a genuine need? Is it something that can help us through how we're feeling at the moment? Or is it just a bad habit? The Reiki can help us to tune in to that level. Reiki is about the energy of life. So it recognises that everything we eat has an energy to it. So for example, if you've got a choice between two blocks of cheese, one of which has been manufactured, mass-produced, pre-packaged, and the other has been made locally or by yourself even, you may be able to see the difference and you'll hear the difference. But energetically, those two blocks of cheese 
will be so different. This mass produced one may have some of the nutrition in it, but it will feel dead compared to the, the life, the life force that is still within this from the person who made it, from the fresher, more natural ingredients and ways of working. All of that helps us to be more natural, more connected. This has just been a very brief taster for how Reiki can work with nutrition. You can also work it, for example, uh, if you're a professional nutritionalist, taking Reiki will help you to tune in to your clients, help you to be more aware of what their real deeper needs are and see the emotional and mental facets of what you're helping them to come to terms with in their nutrition. So whether you've been taking nutrition courses for your own benefit or professionally, whether you're feeling confused by all the diverse information you've got, or whether you just know that living more naturally, more in tune with ourselves is about connecting to our inner self, to our core self, to our, our bodies, and just intuitively know that that's got to be a, a way forward for, for your healthy well-being. Then you've probably now got a way forward to proceed with that aspect of your, your personal growth. Take up some sort of mindfulness, some sort of meditation, or hopefully you'll join me on one of our Reiki courses. I look forward to sharing it with you. Thank you.